Right, today we're going to test TSI 2, TSI 3 fairway woods. I've been hearing some really good reports from these from off the European tour from some of the players testing. It'll be interesting to see which one might suit your game. Also, if there is any really big difference between the two, there certainly is as you look at them in their appearance. But obviously, if it just comes down to the appearance of the two and the performance is similar, then it's going to be up to you to get out there and test them and see which one you like the look and feel of. Let's dig down, see if there's any actual performance difference in TSI 2, TSI 3, fairway woods. So I'm gonna kick this off by hitting the two. So TSI 2 to 3 difference, it looks a little bit more stretched back at the back and the back of the club hugs the ground a bit more than three. Three is definitely making me feel like it's gonna go forwards more. Two is making me feel like it's gonna launch and kind of give me more of a rainbowy flight. I'd say they're the closest they've ever been possibly, but you can see two definitely is sweeping back a little bit more than TSI three, just a little bit more rounded here on the top. Right, post comments down below. I've got a green set at 275. I hit from the deck, three woods. Can I get it to 275, which would be pushing me to my limits with a fairway wood? So I'm going to post my comment verbally. If you're just about to post your comment of if I can hit 275, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down there and consider subscribing. I don't think I can hit this to 275. <laughs> Either of them. Do I want to be able to get them to 275? Yes. Right, looks good down by the ball, the two. I like the TSI on the top and the lineup line. I like the black face of the black head. Like nothing's changing here, it just looks good. And definitely this one does make me feel like it's gonna pop up in the air a bit more than the other, but we'll see if that's true in the numbers. Hit that well, hit that nice. It's straight, it's gonna need to run. Look how short I am, look. That's 250 total. So in the space of this review, I've got to find 25 extra yards. Good luck with that tight list. Let's try again. So for me, I feel like I'm hitting these middle to slightly near the bottom. We've got arc in these two, so it's there to try and help with bottom hits. We're going to look at the tech in a second. That's lower, it's shorter than 250. Again, no surprises in the feel, all the looks at the moment. I'm gonna try and keep this one from fading. Let's see if I can do that. It's straighter. I tried to draw it, didn't quite get the shape, but it is further. Oh, hello. Ooh, 258 total. Getting closer. Now, when I used the game tight list uh, in the fairways, I was always more two than three. I wanted more help with the speeds I've got in launches. I didn't want it to come down. I felt like I could do that with angles I delivered. I think the two will be more popular for the masses, but the three probably will be found in your better players' bags a bit more possibly. Again, I'm gonna try and hold on to the shape of this. No, I've necked it. So that's doing quite well for a low neck. Look, it's falling in the pack. Just a little bit more cutty. TSI 2, feeling good, looking good. It's familiar, as in I like the friendliness of the look of it, like I was saying. Let's look at the tech of these two clubs to see if there is a massive difference as I try and hit a few more to get anywhere near that 275. So let's start with TSI 3. So like we see in the driver, we've got the sure fit fine tuning on the bottom here. So the CG track, I can unscrew this and we've got three different settings to try and align sweet spots. Again, center of gravity is with sweet spots on your individual strike patterns. Also, what's interesting on this is Titleist are saying as well for shot shaping also, which they're not saying so much in the driver. Active recoil channel, 4.0, so they've refined it even more, trying to really keep the ball speeds on the lower strikes. Obviously on a fairway, wood, you are going to be hitting a part more for T where you'll use the vertical more of the face. When the ball's on the ground, strike pattern from good players is generally middle to the bottom. So anything keeping it faster down there is only a good thing. That's actually in both of the heads. Ultra thin crown, variable face thickness. Again, trying to keep ball speeds up and 
uh, help them position the CG exactly where they want it and give you the options of push, uh, positioning it where you want it as well. You also get a good array of featured shafts with this club and obviously you've got your custom options as well. So if we look at TSI 2 now, just before we go on to that, both heads have the sure fit neck as well. So you can dial in the neck to get the right lofts, lies, those kind of things. Now when we go to TSI 2, we see action recoil channel 4.0 refined for low center hits the same. Fin crown, variable face thickness also, and a fixed position. You're not changing this one around like you are in the TSI 3. Again, same options with shafts, good quality of featured shafts with both clubs, and then you've got your custom fit options on top of that. So you're getting in a, to a little bit more dialed in performance, possibly on TSI 3 over more standardized TSI 2, but both good looking heads. Again, bit miss hit, but staying in the pack. So you can see there, there is a big difference in the tech, isn't there, with these two. We're gonna try three in a second and we'll try it from a few different weighted positions. Two, six, two. <laughs> oh, that's close. Two, six, five. No, that's the low heel. Again, that's where the arc, in theory, is gonna be helping me. I'm not sure that one drops, doesn't matter what they do down here. That's still gonna happen. Right, one more, and then we'll move to the three and uh, have a look how that tech is affecting anything. Ah, oh, not the right shape. I felt like I had some speed on that, but I've just, wrong delivery, bit weaker cut. Got a game to two. Yes. Does it feel nice? Yes. Does it look good down by the ball? Yes. I mean, it's just a yes, yes, yes. What? Well, there's nothing wrong. That's just a good club. You can see the average dispersion, just slightly to the right, spinning around 3,000 revs. Average carry, 236. Total distance, 253. Launching at 13 degrees, 146. Ball speed. Well, I have ball speed goals with my driver. I'd love to get that at the 150 with free wood. I'd love to move my free wood to where my driver was. I'm mean, just thinking of a weapon that would be. So my free wood now starts going the distance my driver used to go. Looking at those numbers, they are just good and solid. Right, TSI 3 definitely looks, even if it's not smaller, now I put it down, because it's not stretched back as far, it definitely now looks not small, it just, I prefer the look of the two. It's interesting where on the drivers it's the other way around. No, oh, that's going right. Stay there. Oh, it hung on. You can see it's falling into the pack. Something pretty dramatic is going to have to happen in this video for me to get this to the uh, 270 green, 275 pin. It's a nice high toe. That might work. That's going to be low spinning. That's done well. Go on. Go on, free. Go on. Oh, 264. This is probably the most gameable free shape out of all the so kind of the other fairway woods, as I would call them, out of probably they've ever produced. It is nice. It just, I think the two's just that bit friendlier and that's what we want. This is a tough club to be in from the ground, pushing us all to our limits, isn't it? Oh, I belted that, come on. That's a bullet. Oh, it's just the wrong shape. It's the longest carry. Free's done it. Is that, oh, it's on the fringe. <laughs> that is 270 and a 150 ball. Maybe I do need the three. Difference in feel between the two, hard to tell. I would say there's really not much in it. They basically feel like the same club. Just it's all looks and then we'll see if the numbers change. I am smashing them. That's gonna reach. As long as it's not too far left. That is the longest carry. That is on. Oh, it's going through the back. Through the back counts. Through the back counts. 281 total distance. Maybe the best free would ever made in all time ever. Apart from buying a complete bag of Strixons and gaming only Strixon balls, obviously. Obviously. Like if you're not gaming Strixons and you're watching these videos, I'm disappointed in you. But maybe I should use three. That is just a bomb. Oh, I'm flying now. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to move the green on. That's on. 
that on, that's close. How am I doing this? I'm gonna look at the numbers. Is that spinning less? What's making that go further? Look at this compare. Is it that I've just warmed up? Yeah, it's spinning less. Look, two eights from three three. Ball speed slightly up. These are both for the same loft club. They're both set at 15. I am getting more out. Now, am I getting more out of that because I've just got that fraction warmer as I belt it like a crazy? You can see the launch angle's nothing in it, the spin is less, and then that's giving me that result in carry, and then in turn, look at the result in distance. But again, look at the dispersion. I'm getting much more knuckle straight balls than I was with the two. What I'm gonna do in the comments down below, I'm gonna try the two again now, literally seconds after that three. Is it the club? Is it me? So am I presenting differently, which is giving it that lower spin and making it go that further? Or is that club lower spinning and doing what those numbers are showing, which is exciting me. Remember to use that ball, everyone. Come on. Right, so here's the two. I flipped it on the software. Am I getting the same kind of shots? Will it go that far? Yeah, so look, I've turned that. Lovely. Aim that up the right. That's as far, isn't it? That is getting to the green. 271, 272, spinning at 25. And that's a slight miss it, which is gonna do well on low spins. Yeah, look, that's, if I strike that, that's there, because that's nearly there on a miss it. Ah, wrong face, unfortunately, didn't get the draw, but the speeds are good. Yeah, look, again, that's got two degrees too much loft to not get there, would have. And one more, again, just to see if I can get the same delivery. There you go, look, there's the turny one. So let's see, is that gonna reach? Is it me or the club? Oh, it's two yards, I reckon. It's close. Yeah, so we're getting very close, aren't we? 10 yards extra. Let's do a little bit of, let me just. So I've just deselected here. So only the last four, two eight spin compared to two eight, two four eight in the TS3 to compared to two four six, one four seven ball compared to one four eight. So when you align my performance up, they are so similar. And this is a really good message for you guys and girls out there testing. A test, can you repeat a test? And how many times can you repeat it? These clubs, all of them are all so close. Sometimes I think people read things in the test that maybe aren't even there. And obviously when it comes to data capture, data sets, like you, sometimes you see me present six shots or 10 shots. That's not the only shots I've hit with that club. That actually is the average of what I'm getting even when I was warming up with it, those kind of things. But definitely the bigger data sets you can get, the better. But if you get too down this rabbit hole, you'll never buy. You'll just be testing for a year. At some point you need to make your decision. And I think that's where looks and feels then really step in because you can see from these two clubs, I can, I can go at it all day and they're gonna just keep flipping, subject to if I have that slight Healy cut, that slight open face cut to that turny to the left one, which instantly dropped it by like five, 600 reps. Both of them are good. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna change the weight. It has to be said, this weight changing system is so neat. So basically it just like lifts up like a hood of a car here. I'm gonna move it into the heel. So you've got this weight under here that moves, smooth as, I'm gonna move it into the heel, see if it is shot shaping see if it is lining up CGs. I'm middle to slight heel more of a free wood than I am so much the toe. I know I hit a couple of toes in there, but low heel and slight heel side with my fairway wood is my more pronounced miss over time. And also obviously anything as you saw there turning more left was just giving me that extra little movement forward. So again, if it is shot shaping, we might see it in this next batch of numbers. The thing I'm most impressed with is how much more similar the two are. As I hit these more, it's like changing as the review goes. I do feel like I could hit the three more. I would probably game with two, but this is the most, uh, closest I've ever got thinking I absolutely could game a three for longer than a few games and then give it up. Right, wait in the heel. See what we get out of it. Ain't that nice. Middles are slightly low. You can see it's slightly lower stream than the others. It's in the pack. If you've not checked out any of the speed stuff I'm trying to do, what I find so interesting is that I do, like even stopping and talking to the camera and talk and changing the computer club over, so creating a new club, what are we talking? Like two minutes of not hitting and my body already starts to want to slow down. If I hit like five in a row, you can really build up the speed. It shows you how much the training of your body is important. So there is my slight heel hit. 
So you could argue that's not cutting as much and maybe squeezing out a bit more ball speed because the CG is going to be pushed slightly more towards where at the side I hit that. Getting that's out the bottom. And that is cutting as much and if not more than anything. So it was more kind of bottom to slight heel side. Oh, I didn't turn that, that's a shame. What happens for me when I move away in a club, it's a good shot, really, I'll take it, is it plays on my mind and it makes me wonder, am I reacting because I can feel that movement of that weight slightly, that's why that one didn't turn over. It just makes me second guess. So there's a part of me that really loves that this fitting option is there and I think if it's there, why would you not use it? I reckon people like Liam that you used to see on the channel from the tall side of it is using it and dialing in players, how much it will dial in your average amateur, I think it's a bigger question. But for me, it's a love-hate relationship. I love it and then I just hit a few bad shots of it and I'm thinking, is that, you know, am I reacting to that? It just, it's... I think it's horses for courses so much. There you go, like third shot in a row and I feel faster on that one. I've lined that. Get on the green. Go on. Oh, that's a line ball. Right, one more. And we'll see if we can see anything different in these numbers between the heel. I don't think there will be. Right, that hard, but slight high toe which can help me for flights, that's on. Why thank you? Oh, tap it in, eagle time. So we've now got three clubs in, we've got it set in the heel, ball speeds again, we're all those three clubs very, very similar. You can see the heel ones, the average dispersion is actually more right. Shot shaping, I think it's so dangerous talking shot shaping. Ball speeds, I would say, didn't really help me. I was much better with it in the standard, but again, it's a small data set. You would need to hit loads more so if you wanted to like quantify what was better or worse. And again, that leads back to my point. I think you'll just test forever if you're doing that. We're talking really small differences. You like the look and feel of it. It gets the numbers dialed in with lofts, shaft weights and flexes and whatever you want. Treat yourselves. And again, spin went up. I would say that was more to do with the batch of shots. I hit some cutty ones in there and then it is the shortest out of all of them if i was buying it would be hard to ignore tsi3 it would be a battle between these numbers and the looks and feel of two it would be really close all i can say i do love the tech of the three i love how neat they've done that like that is really i've not seen that before it's clever it's smart it's so tight list it's just really like they do things that tight list and ping so similar they just do things before other people don't crazy shout about them and then people come along and just copy that's impressive i like what that does and how it's been engineered i like the look of both i think they are the closest they've ever been so they could appeal to more and more golfers i would pick three on those numbers and it's the first time i think I would pick three and it possibly stay in my bag for longer. I don't know. It, like, it's just, again, it would be so close. I could come back and do this test tomorrow and I think it would flip the other side. I can definitely see why these are causing a stir. I can definitely see why people are enjoying them. Post comments down below. Are you impressed that I was hitting that green at 275? One went through the bag because I am with myself. <laughs> and would you test them? Um, let me know in those comments down below. As always, thanks for watching. Quite impressed with those.